Well, here we go. This got delivered yesterday, but it was a little bit too hot down here in Portland, Oregon to sit out here and do an unboxing. I don't know if anybody's heard of Nomad Raceway. I just found uh, Jim Cunningham or James Cunningham on there. Watched his videos. And some of you may be surprised. Some of you may have already seen it. So I'm going to test it out on my track. See what it is. The ability to run digital and analog, which I already have the ability with my tech slot box. But this looks a little more sophisticated. Yeah, I got two power supplies. Well, let me unbox it. You'll see. Well, package number one. Nice packing job. Yeah, this thing's right in there. Some good foam. A lot of bubble wrap. I'll get that uncovered and let you see what it is. It's surely not the uh, LED light stand. So... We'll let, uh, get this open and take a look at her. So there it is. It's the digital Omni Slot Box. High amp analog switch. OmniSlotBox.com Go check out Jim's uh, website. He's got some good racing. Testing out cars. Nice uh, Carrera track. And he's built these boxes to run the, all the cars. I mean, from HO to vintage 16 d's he runs uh what are the wing cars i mean you name it he runs it on there i was impressed so this is the front of the box and then let me see if i can turn this thing around that's the front this is the back and really looks like a nice setup i like the the way you gotta go Serial number RW2. Maybe I got the second one. Awesome. I'm going to get this thing set up and uh, I'll show you the two power supplies and how it all hooks up. Give it a few tests. Tell you how I like it. Well, there you have it. That's everything I bought. Comes with a new uh, a new CU. For the track that's wired, forget what those types of plugins are called, but that's wired in already. Then about two power supplies, and there's the plug in and the plugs to hook it up to the main box. And we'll get this thing fired up, make another video, and see how she comes out. Thanks for watching. All right, well, here we go. So this is my uh, Omni slot box. Just got installed last night. We raced on it. Everything seemed to work flawlessly. Uh, if you haven't seen these, check out Nomad Racing. Jim Cunningham has some good demos on all the different cars. Uh, you know, as you can see on here on the front, you know, it's as simple as going from digital now I'm in digital mode on my career track to analog. Boom. It's that simple. I have two power supplies, one for each lane, so you could adjust your voltage if you had a kid or maybe a new racer. You could adjust that down either lane. Um, I have a old Parma controller that I, I'm using right now until I get a SP3 or something a little more uh, robust but right now I'm just using this little old Parma 3 or Parma that I have from the 90s for my analog and then on my digital I have a uh, Franken slot wireless that I use for my digital end of it. And uh, let me get a shot of the back of this and show you how easy it is to set up. 
so bear with bear with me here uh i just got this in last night so it's a little i haven't got everything completely organized so back here you'll have your serial number uh this is where i run my power taps now as jim said it's better to use uh color coordinated i got my power negative red and black but i had already had a tech box hooked up to this and i just used the red and black so one lane is lane two all my power taps they're isolated positive and negative to just that one lane um same on lane one <coughs> because you'll ha you can have that problem same as tech slots on the one corner piece which i had taken out before i put in the uh tech slot box and uh so my i was basically ready all i had to do is plug and play for this system so then essentially these two cables that's the you get a new control unit this is the power and whatnot for the control unit they just plug in there simple um then we have your power it's a 12 volt power that powers the box when your green light when your lights are green it's telling you everything's hooked up all right and if you're an analog i believe these only light up when you hit the controller and then you have your two power supplies power in and out so relatively simple and the only reason i really went to this is because a few of us from my little group have been dabbling over at another person that rates straight analog car they race and they have all the different you know womps uh you know the uh what do you call them the wing car type they do a lot of chassis uh home built scratch built uh nascar and whatnot so they're using a little hotter motors and with the tech slot box because it's still a digital system in a sense because it's using chips to chip the lanes i didn't want to run the risk you know of trying to run hotter motors through those chips and this system here is, is a true analog when you switch you're bypassing that complete control unit no chips to burn up or anything and you can run at a lot higher uh amps you know voltage and amps because you're bypassing that control unit so i still like the tech slot you know it has its it has its thing if you're just gonna run you know stock slot it and things like that it works just fine worked great for me and that's all i was doing with it but now that i want to explore out a little bit more with some hotter motors more vintage stuff that draws a lot more amps i just i didn't feel like the you know the the demand for the amps was going to work with that tech slot box so i'll play with this i'll give you a little demo on how easy it is to go from digital to uh analog and you know you make a decision what's good for you everybody has something you know we all do things a little bit different and uh you know it may not be for everybody but i was really interested and let's give it a shot do a couple of test runs here all right what i got i got here is a uh thunder slot mclaren that i chipped so this is digital here's the nsr uh, 908 porsche i've also chipped both of those are uh, <coughs> digital and what i have here is 917 nsr uh, it's analog completely stock also a mr slot also uh completely analog so right now i'm in the analog mode so i have my 
Parma and we're in analog mode so I'll put on the 917 there you go oh and there's with my the old 1990s Parma controller now I've got the MR slot car that's also analog we'll just bring that around here there you go now both those were analog now with the flick of a switch on my box now we're into digital mode so I'll grab my Franken slot controller turn that on and either lane and we're as fast as that we're in digital lane changing everything functions when it's in digital naturally when you're in analog you know you're dealing with uh, analog racing uh oh so it's as simple as that pull the car off make sure it's off there flick the switch now we're back to analog there's my analog car it's only going to work in this lane won't work in this lane unless I get another controller for that lane but it won't work in that lane there you go analog racing I mean it's not for everybody like I said but hey I thank Jim over there at no, uh, Nomad Racing I think it's a great product it's worth checking out it's spendy but you know it's not a toy you're, you're buying a quality unit everything in that box top of the line components and it looks like it's ready to last a lifetime well if you like the video hit the thumbs up give me a like subscribe to the channel hope you enjoy